Tom Nappy here with Kathy Kilduff and Curran Leahy Lonnie Gro from the Lauren Anderson Memorial Fundraiser. Ladies, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. So for those that don't know, can you explain what the Lauren Anderson Memorial Fundraiser is all about and also how it got started? We have two objectives for our project. One is to honor a very special young lady on the 25th anniversary of her passing, Lauren Anderson. And the other is to upgrade the Lauren Anderson field to uh, match the quality of the other athletic fields at Hopkinton High School. So those are our two primary goals and objectives. Terrific. And how did the Lauren Anderson Memorial Fund get started? We are uh, neighbors um, of the Anderson family. And there was a corner of six families that all joined together as the kids were growing up. And we were all from other parts other than Hopkinton. And we just became like family to one another. We were talking one night and we were remembering that this is the 25th anniversary of Lauren's passing. And we said, let's go take a look at her field. And so we got in our car and we drove by and we said, became evident fairly quickly that the field needed some work. So we put two and two together and we said, what a wonderful way to celebrate the memory of Lauren and do something that she loved. She loved softball and she loved, she loved her teammates and this would be a way to marry the two and honor a very special young woman. And Karen, I understand you knew Lauren well. Can you talk about the type of person that Lauren was and how you knew each other? Sure. So uh, Lauren was my best friend and I'm, I'm proud to be able to say that. Um, we knew each other from the time we were very little, I think really when she first moved to town. Um, and she was obviously an athlete. You know, the softball field is, is named for her now, um, and we want it to be named for her um, going forward um, because she was an athlete. She was a softball player, she was a cheerleader, um, and she was an avid equestrian. Um, I'm getting emotional. Um, she, was, she was also, though, you know, as Kathy said, she was just a wonderful friend, and I feel really proud that she was my friend. Um, but she was a friend to everybody. You know, back when we graduated, which was 96. Our class was, I think, 76 students. So we were a really close-knit community generally. Um, everyone was sort of friends with everybody, but Lauren really epitomized that more than anybody else. She was friends with everybody. And it was evident then, and it's certainly evident now as we're starting to reach out to folks and folks are telling us, like, this means so much to us because Lauren meant so much to us. It is amazing as we st as we started to build a team, we reached out to her classmates and her teammates and townspeople. I mean, this is certainly a, a grassroots effort. And to a person, everybody remembered her. And they remembered her qualities. And most of all, every single person said, I remember Lauren Sparkle. And that, to the, the team itself and the core team of, of people, that is so evident, it's, it, it's heartwarming to see that not only was she remembered, but that her legacy has lived on for 25 years. Yeah, I think it's a credit to, to her, absolutely, and I think it's also a credit to her family, too. Um, you know, Ricky, Lauren's mom, said at Lauren's funeral, um, you know, remember to always watch for the sparkle, and I think that as young kids experiencing a loss, we wanted something to really be able to, you know, always hold on to um, and have a positive way of framing this really terrible experience. And so I think, too, it's a credit to, to Ricky really in teaching um, all the young people in town and, and probably the older generation, too. Um, this is the best way to be able to sort of move forward from this and, and really remember Lauren. We want to bring that sparkle back to her field through this upgrade. And from what I read, there's been a few organizations that have been helping you guys out? We definitely do. We have uh, a team of, of individual classes. We have the school is, is involved and support the project. We have um, Little League. We have Friends of Hopkinton. Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec, absolutely Parks and Rec, um, because they'll be the, uh, the women's league plays on Lawrence Field, as do um, the middle school JV and varsity teams, 
as do, I think parks and recs have, have um, games there, and tournaments are played there because it's a dirt field. So the field gets used. There's, there's life on that field, and it's exciting to be able to do an upgrade and have them um, benefit from it. So can you talk more about the motivation behind wanting to renovate Field 6, and also what are some of the things that you'd like to renovate Absolutely. with Field 6? So currently Field 6 is named after Lauren. There is a, a scoreboard up on the field in her name now. And as Kathy mentioned earlier, um, the, the caliber of the field really just doesn't match what we feel uh, Lauren deserves. But we also feel that the, the quality doesn't match with the community deserves. Um, you know, we are obviously passionate about this project because we're passionate about remembering Lauren, but again, because we feel like there is something that the entire community can gain from these renovations. Uh, we've heard from organizations that use the field currently, like the Women's Varsity Team, like the uh, Women's Rec League, to say that the field is at times unusable. Um, there's trees that are overgrowing. Um, there's really no actual dugout. It's just a bench behind uh, behind a fence. Um, oftentimes, the the fields are in such a condition that you can't even use the outfield. Um, and so, we really want to upgrade the field so that the community can take the full advantage um, that it deserves to be able to take. So again, some of the things that we're hoping to upgrade, you know, certainly upgrading the scoreboard in Lauren's name. Um, also making sure that the trees are back away from the field so that uh, they're not encroaching, they're not making it uncomfortable for the players. They can actually find foul balls when they go over the fence. Um, also putting in a warning track for safety purposes. A bleacher on the visitor's side and um, dugouts. Exactly. And perhaps uh, maybe uh, some of the players now would get involved in this project. Absolutely, and, and again, I think you know, if if we hope that you connect to the project for many reasons, you know, we would love for you to connect to it because Lauren was such a, a wonderful individual. Um, but if you connect because you're a player, if you connect because you have a child who's a player in a league, or again, you just feel like that, you know, Hopkinton itself deserves high quality athletic fields throughout, whether it's football or, or softball, um, we hope that you would consider participating in the project. Uh, if somebody wanted to volunteer or donate, where could they go for more information? So I thank you for putting a wonderful letter and donation details on your website. So if anyone wants to donate via check or um, uh, an online uh, donation via PayPal, You've put it out there very well, and um, all they need to do is follow uh, your instructions. The other things that people could do would be to spread the word with Facebook and direct emails. I mean, the word is out instantaneously. Our project is one week old at the moment, and we can feel the energy. It's, it's, it, I think because it's, it's doing something that's positive for the community, by the community, it has really taken off, and we're, we're really grateful for that. Um, and then the last thing people could do is volunteer their talent or their time. We're going to be um, executing some activities and events. We're still in the planning stages, but a couple of them are things like um, the alumni softball game. I felt a lot of energy around mm -hmm. that one when we discussed it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the um, uh, reunion night, potentially, at HCA. And then another one is the youth ministry team at the church is going to be doing an activity, and they've already dubbed the name of it as Sparkle for Lauren. So that's just a few of the things that you could get involved with. But if you're interested, just give any one of us a call. I believe that uh, my name is, is on your, web, your website as well. That's right. So there you have it. Just head over to hcam.tv. You can find out more information about this great cause. Uh, Karen and Kathy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.